All right, this is Nicole. I'm getting ready to take the art bus out to get propane and to top off the diesel fuel and maybe run a couple errands while I'm out and about. And I'm getting ready to pull in the slide out. This is my bedroom slide out, my whole closet there. You can see that whole thing comes in and snugs up next to the bed. So I'm gonna show you that right now. This zooms right in with the push of a button. That's why I call it the push button palace. All right, so coming in, there's my saddle stool that I use at my quilting machine. And I bungee it to those two drawers down there for transit so it doesn't roll around. And in my bedroom here, uh, normally when I'm not taking a shower, I keep my bag of batting in the shower. Um, let's batting scraps and stuff. When I'm in transit, I, my bicycle gear goes on my bed. I usually hang it up by the front door, but I don't like it flopping around while I'm driving. And then there beside my bed on that right side is where I keep my fold up, my four foot fold up table that has uh, different adjusting legs so I can make it tall enough to be my cutting table. And then when I have company, I use it as a dining table. I have my ironing board folded up back there and also a little personal fold up table that I use for a desk and a catch all when I'm parked, all right? So then where I've had a lot of people ask me where I keep my plants, my plants live on the dashboard when I'm parked, but when we're driving, I put them all here in the shower and the shower has a really beautiful skylight. It gives the plants beautiful my geraniums blooming they are happy in Alabama I tell you uh, and I'm already picking up the lingo damn it that's hysterical okay so <laughs> uh, I discovered this after I spent five days traveling from central Idaho to Houston and I had put my plants at that time all on that right side of my bed and all of those tables and stuff I had stashed down in my basement berths. All right, so here we go, going through the coach. Now here I'm gonna show you, this is, hi Snoopy, you ready to go? We are, this is my studio, and the studio is in the main slide out of the coach. So I've got the long arm strapped down for transit. I park it off the end of the machine and use that bungee cord, attach it to the side of the table. It's almost like APQS knew what I was gonna do here. And then shortly after my first trip with the long arm in the coach, I determined that I didn't like the bars clanging. So when I am traveling, I wrap up in between those thrust collars, a little bit of scrap batting, and that keeps everything from clanging around and driving me crazy see that there it just takes a little bit around the pipe all right and then the machine is strapped down I don't know if you can see very well but there's two eye bolts in the bottom of the slide that my friend Rick helped me put in and then we strap the machine down with uh, ratcheting tie down straps so it goes from one end to the other and that keeps it from shifting and then my sewing machine cabinet is screwed to another uh, short like 12 inch cabinet that's built in under that window where the park curtain is and now i believe I'll double check the floor make sure there's nothing in the way of the slide out i think we're gonna pull it in so the button for this one is down here on the passenger side at the front and i'm just gonna pull her in now this one takes a little bit longer because it's a lot bigger Here she comes, here she comes. This always just amazes me. My own transformer. All right, so now you see there's my driver seat. There's the wall that was outside, the long arm. I turned the camera off and moved those plastic boxes 
put the two and the basket on top there in front of the couch after I pulled the slide out in. And so here we are ready for travel. You can see the... how snug of a fit that is. It's like it was meant to be. So if I need, when I'm traveling, if I need to use the potty, I just crawl under there. Usually I wouldn't, if I'm like on a travel day going to a new destination and not just running errands, I would not have a quilt on here. But I'm only gonna be gone for an hour or so today, so I've got it loaded and ready to go when we get back, set back up. So anyhow, I know a lot of you were interested about how this worked, how I had it set up for the long arm and made her roll, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.